Well, opening night for the Green Jackets, SRP Park celebrated its 1 millionth fan, which shows just how much foot traffic comes through the area. And tonight, North Augusta leaders talked about expanding Riverside Village. The plan is to add more seats, restrooms, and a boat dock at the Sharon Jones Amphitheater. Our Taylor Martin is live from the amphitheater tonight to break down the plan. Taylor. Well, more restrooms and more seating in this area right behind me are in the future for Riverside Village. And I spoke with some people out here today and they tell me they're most excited about the restrooms. Isaiah Smith has been living in Augusta his whole life and comes to Riverside Village to walk with his family. Everything that we are here today because my wife was trying to get her 10,000 steps in and it's a nice, safe place to be. And while he doesn't have many complaints about Riverside Village, he does see a huge need for bathrooms in the area for those who come to the amphitheater and walk the trail. But the bathrooms are a must that you have to be able to have a bathroom that you can make it to if you have an urgency or you have a condition of need to have to go. In addition to the bathrooms, the city is planning to add about 350 more seats to the amphitheater where the old sycamore tree used to stand in the center in hopes of drawing bigger crowds and bigger acts to North Augusta. City Councilman Eric Presnell says it's all a part of a bigger plan. But the uh, restrooms will be more than just restrooms. It's also a kind of a hangout room for some of the bands before they perform because when they come out here, you know, we have to rely on some of the restaurants, giving them some space and things like that. And right next to the restrooms, the boat dock that Councilman Presnell says should be finished by the end of the year. We're really just waiting on some bids to come back and we hope to have progress breaking on that fairly soon. The city will pay for the restrooms and seating with a $150,000 grant and other grants they'll match with money from the capital sales tax project fund. Now, those like Isaiah passing by and coming for fun won't have to go too far for a bathroom. And it would probably bring more people to the area to do more things. As for next steps for the project, the city council will have to vote on it and then get bids from contractors to get the ball rolling.